this session we are going to learn how to format HTML, CSS and JavaScript program. The formatting becomes very important when we work as a team. So Prettier is a code formatter tool. In this lesson we are going to learn how to use Prettier and how to set up the Prettier with our VS Code projector, VS Code editor. So let's create a project. Hello. We are into a PRPTO. Let's open the project in the VS Code editor. Okay. Before going further, we'll do what? We'll first install the Prettier extension. We'll go to the extension tab and search for the extension Prettier. Whatever the first thing will come, we'll do what? We'll install the extension if it is not installed in our project. Once, inst once installed, now we can go ahead and we can use it in our project. So let's do what? Let's create an SRC folder and let's create a program called index.html, index.js, and let's suppose index.css. Okay. And now it's time to do what? Let's okay. Let's create a some program here. Function main and console dot sorry I'm writing console dot log I'm writing some logic here hello world okay and now let's do what let's format this program if I need to format this what we have to do okay we have one option control shift P and now here I will select option format document or format document with there are chances that there are more than one format and available in your VS Code editor. And here we'll choose the option PTF code formatter. Now you can see that the code has been formatted properly. If I go and write some HTML here, okay. And if I format this program, if I need to format this program, let's suppose the program is in a messy way. And if I need to format this, what we can do format document with if there are more than one format one more time and we'll choose the option video but every time we cannot do like this so what do we want we want to smartly format we want to save our time as soon as we are saving our program the code needs to be formatted by default if you want to achieve this we will click on the setting tab we'll go to the setting option and we'll search for an option format on save we'll go to the workspace section and we'll enable format on save so once this is done now if i go here and if you make any changes in our program the code become the program become by default it will become formatted as soon as we save the program let's make it messy and as soon as we are saving it it become formatting let's do here also if I save this program now, you can see that the code become formatted here. In the same way, if I write something here, as soon as we are saving it, it's become formatted. And if it's helping you, I'm suggesting you some error also. Now let's do what if I need to override. If I need to change the formatting property, that means the formatting property means or the tab space. If I want to change this from 2 type space to 4, let me, if I need to override the prettier property, how to do that? We will do what on a home folder? What we will do? We will create a configuration file prettier rc. Okay, we will use a JSON syntax here and inside the JSON we will use tab width and we will apply the option from 2 to 4. So, if as soon as I make the changes, now if I go to a JS file and make the changes save the file again you can see that the code is getting formatted as per the new rule that means the tab width is 4 same for the CSS also okay now we may be surprising where to find all these prettier configuration rules for this We'll go to our PTR website, we'll go to the about section and there are the options. The options are 
pretty easy and handy to use this is, there is a detailed description available here so now let's go to the program one more time let me show you another one another option print width let's suppose we are changing from 80 to 140 120 so now you can see that the print width it has been changed from 80 to 140 to 120 now let's make it 100 this will be consistent across the html across the javascript and across the print rc file so let's make it two and one more thing i would like to show here single quote is equal to two so what does this mean this is handy in our javascript file so now you can see our string variable is in a double quote if i as soon as i save it it will come into a single quote str is equal to let's suppose hello ptr you can see the double quote has been automatically converted into the single quote so these things are quite handy and this saves our time and energy when we work in a large project that's it that's it about the ptr in a very brief if you like the video please like and subscribe thank you